You're welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add TCOR to Trust Wallet and perform uh, your testnet transaction instead of uh, the MetaMask that we have been using. Now, before you dive into this process, you go to Play Store or your iOS, your Apple uh, Play Store. You update your, Met your Trust Wallet, okay? You update your trust wallet before you uh, start the process now after you must have updated your trust wallet you uh, simply open the page okay as you can see this is the live screen of my uh, trust wallet okay then uh, you copy the test net link I'll quickly go to my notepad where I have the test net link for uh, T Corp to copy it I think this is it okay this is my notepad so I will copy it now then go back to my uh, trust wallet I think this is the link okay I've copied it so I'll go back to my trust wallet I'll open it then um, I will go in, I'm going to click on this button or add token at the down part of the page it's either I click here or I click here they will give the same result so I tap on it then uh, okay this option will appear so you click on this plus sign okay you click on it then um, this is the network okay you have contract address name symbol and uh, decimal but we are not going to make use of uh, this method okay so what you do now is you click on uh, network okay when you click on network this is it now you are, you are going to fill these uh you are going to fill these spaces the network here is EVM is correct you put the name you put the symbol uh, you put the node URL and the Explorer URL as well <coughs> Now, this method will make it a bit, uh, um, it's not too fast, but you can as well uh, follow this process. Now, the name, the symbol, the node URL, uh, it is, I have it here, I will drop it in the description, okay? As you can see, this is it on my notepad, on my notepad, I am going to drop the, uh, the links in my description so that you, uh, you can impute the names, uh, the symbol and the URL accordingly just as you have it on my screen here then let me go back to uh, my trust wallet so this is one of the ways this is a manual way of adding T core okay this is the manual way of adding T core to trust uh, uh, wallet I think I should do it so that uh, you understand better all right let me do it so this is the name uh, core chain testnet Okay, I'll copy it, then I'll go to my trust wallet and add it. This is the name I paste it, and then the symbol is T core. I will type it there. Then the node URL. This is the node URL. I'll copy it. Then I'll go back. Okay, node URL, I'll paste it, the Explorer URL, although this Explorer URL is, it's optional, so you can do without it. So I've copied the Explorer URL, I'll go back to my, um, to my Trust Wallet, I'll paste it, then I think I am done. So I'll, click it, I'll quickly click on Save, the Save button, okay, you allow it to load for some seconds chain added successfully okay chain added successfully so we'll click on done all right so you now go back okay this is my trust wallet dashboard as you can see the uh the core chain testnet has been added this is it okay guys this is it so this is the manual way of doing it okay this is the manual way of doing it before the end of this video i will show you a simpler and faster way of uh, adding this uh, t core to uh, to trust wallet okay now let us let us perform our testnet transaction okay just the way we do in uh, using our metamask 
So um, I don't have Tico here currently because I just added this. So I'll quickly go to my MetaMask where I have uh, my Tico. Then I will send it to this. Okay. So um, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me open my MetaMask. My MetaMask. Okay. So guys, this is my MetaMask. This is my MetaMask wallet. As you can see, I have 5.6 uh, T-Core. Okay. So now, in order to do my testnet transaction, what I will simply do is um, I will go to, I will go back to my trust wallet and copy the address. Okay. Let me go to my trust wallet. Let me copy my T-Core uh, address. I'm trying to open my test my trust wallet. Okay. So I'll click on Tico, which is the last coin there. Then I'll click on receive. Okay, so this is my address. Okay. This is the address. All right. So I'll simply click on copy. I'll click on copy. Then I'll go back to uh, my MetaMask. I'm trying to open my MetaMask. Okay, this is my MetaMask wallet. So uh, I will now click on send. Okay, I want to send Tico from my MetaMask to my Trust wallet. Now, um, already I've copied the address from uh, my Trust wallet. So I'll come to this option. Then I'll paste the address that I copied, my Trust wallet address. Okay, now uh, I can add this uh, trust wallet address to my uh, to my list of addresses here. That is, if I don't want to be copying and pasting it every time, okay, I can add it so that when next I want to do my testnet transaction, I can quickly use it instead of just going to the trust wallet and copy uh, copying the address. So let me do that. I'll click on add this. Okay, let me say. Um, my trust wallet okay just for instance my trust wallet then I'll click on save all right as you can see the name has been uh, the name has been added here my trust wallet okay so this will help me uh, each time I want to do transaction I don't need to go to my trust wallet to copy the address it's already saved in my meta mask so I'll simply click on next okay then I'll put the amount of call that I want to send so for the purpose of this video we're going to send one I click on one then click on next okay give it some second okay I'll click on send again okay the transaction has been submitted let's wait for the approval of the transaction okay okay I've ref I just refreshed the page as you can see the transaction has been completed here I have a uh, 4.6 uh, Ticker. okay that means one has been subtracted now let us go to our uh, trust wallet to check whether it has uh, arrived okay whether we've received it in our trust wallet okay let me go back this is it let's refresh okay now as you can see I have my uh, one T core all right so it has uh, the the, the, the T core we sent from MetaMask has arrived in our in our trust uh, wallet okay so this is it now if you want to do transaction here in this meta in this trust wallet it's just uh, it's a very simple process by you simply click on a uh, call chain okay when you click on it you click on send when you click on send you go to your metamask uh, wallet address okay when you go there you copy your uh, metamask wallet address then you come here paste it then here you put the amount of a t call that you want to uh, send after which you click on uh, continue this is it after which you click on uh, continue okay so let's um, let's do it let's do it okay so this is my this is my meta mask this is my meta mask so I'll simply click on the um, the address here this is the address I'll tap on it I'll tap on it as you can see public address copy the to clipboard 
So I'll go back to my trust wallet. Okay. This is my trust wallet. So I'll paste it here. I'll paste, sorry. I'll paste it here. Then the amount of ticker, let's say 0 0.5. Let's say 0 0.5. Then I'll click on uh, continue. This is continue here. Let me click on it. Continue. Okay. Then, as you can see, this is the asset from the two, then the network fee. Okay. So I'll click on confirm. I'll put in my transaction pin. Allow it to load. Now the transfer has gone, but it's still processing. It's still processing. You wait for some seconds. Okay. As you can see, it is still processing. Let me try and refresh. Wow. As you can see, it has been processed. Okay, it has been processed. Now you see the amount of code that I have left. It is no more up to one. I sent 0 0.5 added with uh, the extra fee charges. Okay, that is why you have it this way. So if you go back to my MetaMask now, you check, you see it is uh, the same. Okay, guys, now, uh, like I promised earlier, I will, I will show you the, 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 the simple way of doing uh, this without the manual input of the name, the network, and the URL, uh, whatever. Now, um, if you want to do that, if you want to do that, you um, let's say let's use another wallet for this. Okay, another wallet where there is no T core. Okay, so um, let's use another wallet. A minute. Now this is another wallet. In this wallet, there is no uh, there is no T core here. Okay, so let me go to my notepad and copy the test net link. Okay, this is the testnet link. Copy. Then I'll drop the link in the description. Okay, so um, I'll open it. Then I'll click on uh, browser. I'll click on browser. This is browser. I'll click on it. Then at this uh, section, I'm going to paste it here. Okay. Okay, this is it. I just paste it. This is it. Okay, the testnet link. Then I will click on my enter button for it to search. Okay. Give it some seconds to load. Wow, as you can see, this has displayed. Okay, remember we are using a very different uh, wallet. Okay, now this is add uh, core network. So in this process now, you don't need to uh, type in the name, the network name, the the URL, the whatever. So you just click on this button, okay? Just click on this button, add core network, okay? Just click on this button, add core network. Okay, this is provider is not ready, okay? Wait for some seconds. Let's wait for some seconds. Let me click on it again. Provider is not is not ready, okay? Hold on a bit. So guys, um, what you need to do is you just uh, click on this uh, add, add call, like I said before, add call network. So you keep on trying it, okay? You keep on trying it. When the provider is ready, they will add it to your trust wallet, okay? Automatically, you don't need to do the manual uh, settings, okay? So once, maybe uh, this, uh, it has refused to... Uh, to be added because I have used it for uh, I've used it a while ago okay I've used it about two or three times a while ago just for test uh, purpose okay but in your own case it may be different all right so if you don't want to pass through the manual process of um, adding the ticker to your trust wallet you simply come here okay by using the test uh, net link okay you come and then you click on this uh, add core uh, network and the core network will be added automatically into your uh, your trust wallet of which if you go back okay when you click on your wallet you see it displayed down okay at this last uh, part of the page okay guys so this is how to add a uh, t core to your trust wallet okay then after you must have done that after you must have done that remember we've performed the transaction okay in the other wallet that we used for illustration so now you go to uh let's go to our let's go to our satoshi okay our satoshi app this is my uh dashboard as you can see this is my dashboard so i've performed transaction for the day just the one you saw 
uh, then I will now click on claim hash to claim my daily 3k hash okay I'll click on it as you can see I have successfully uh, received my 3k hash as displayed on this screen I'll simply click on a close so guys that is how to add tcall to trust wallet okay if you find this uh, video interesting okay and if you want to receive more updates on call please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel like my videos you can as well share my videos if you have any question at all kindly drop your uh your questions yeah if you have any question drop it at the comment section um if there is any video relating to call that you want me to to do okay to upload on my channel you simply drop your comments at the comment section okay then in my next video i'm going to attend to read Rem i will attend to it so remember guys every day you are expected to log in okay as we are claiming the airdrop you're expected to log in every day uh, at least twice or three times or as many as many times as you can you come you click on your claim button to claim your airdrops okay this is the airdrop that we've been participating in the test net uh, the test coin a test coin b and test coin c okay now if you don't know how to do this i will drop the video in the description on how to update your your uh, your core app and participate in the network i've done a video about that before it's in my channel if you go to my uh my youtube channel you are going to see it i'll drop the link in the description let me open my youtube okay i'll drop the link in the description as well so you quickly go you watch the video you watch the video now this is it okay this is my youtube channel this is the video that i did about how to update how to update your satoshi app and participate in the ongoing uh, airdrop okay so watch the video okay if you have any challenge you drop your comments at the comment section okay guys thank you for being with me to the end of this video i hope to see you in my next video and i wish you a happy new year in advance bye